All right, y'all, we're going to torque the harmonic balancer or crankshaft pulley to 80 foot-pounds. We have a torque wrench, half-inch torque wrench, that goes to 150 foot-pounds. We have an extension here, and then a 19 millimeter six-sided socket. We have this tool. This tool we borrowed from AutoZone. It's an OEM brand, 27270 adjustable fan clutch holding tool. All y'all need to do is rent that tool from AutoZone or whatever auto parts store for free. It's a loaner tool, you pay them money, you return it, you get your money back. You have to supply your own bolts to this. This is the tool right here. The handle of this tool will be wedged up against the lower control arm. We're going to rotate the crankshaft pulley until the arm of this tool contacts the lower control arm. And then we're gonna torque it to 80 foot-pounds. We need that handle or arm of this tool to be up against something firm so it stops it from moving clockwise because we're turning clockwise to tighten it. We'll show you the setup after we do this. Okay, sister's gonna be turning the torque wrench and wedging that handle up against that lower control arm. You see that? Now we're gonna torque that to 80 foot-pounds. So the handle's wedged up against the lower control arm. side so let me hold that okay here sister's holding the head of the torque wrench oh she not there you go y'all torque to 80 foot pounds handle wedged against lower control arm right there coming up stopping it from turning clockwise you see how the bolts are in there wedged up we'll show you when we get it out but this is how the tool is set up when it's on All right, y'all, we're gonna remove the tool now and let you see how we set this up. But this worked like a charm. That's how you take the tool out. You just pull it toward you, wiggle it back and forth, pull it toward you. So those holes in the harmonic balancer or crankshaft pulley, those four holes, two are threaded and two are smooth. These are the machine screws we use, 1032 by two inch. You've gotta have two bolts and four nuts. Then we use just a series of washers to wedge in between both of the nuts on both sides. These guys would not fit in. These 1224 by two inch would not fit in, too large. The two inch bolts are the right length to use. They don't hit anything behind that crankshaft pulley. They don't damage anything. Now these guys, check them out. They went in straight and came out bent, but it torqued that crankshaft pulley for us. All right, so that's how we had it set up. Right there. Nut, washer, washer, washer. It doesn't matter how many washers you use, whatever you'd like. We just wanted to disperse the weight. So we used some washers. So nut, washer, washer, I'd put at least two. Washer, washer, nut head of the bolt on both of them. You wanna go with the larger hole in this tool. Smaller one doesn't work. That's our setup for the bolts. You wanna make sure that whatever you wedge the tool handle or arm against is substantial, like the lower control arm. This is how we're removing the, the bolts, y'all. Take a piece, take some pliers, bend it down. And we take our little adjustable wrench there and screwdriver and unscrew as far as we can then we're going to use a hacksaw and cut off those bolts
you go. That's how we got the bolts off. Pliers, vice grip, hacksaw. And that's how we tighten and torque a harmonic balancer bolt or crankshaft pulley bolt on a 1995 Toyota Camry 5 SFE engine. Hope it helps and happy DIYing.